The Biden administration has officially passed that critical 100 day mark. And in this week's joint address to Congress, the president reaffirmed his commitment to delivering equity to the black community. Yes, let's bring in now first vice chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, Nevada Congressman Stephen Horsford. Sir, good to have you here with us. You all, you were a part of, of heading up the first 100 days transition task force. And you all's job essentially, as stated, was to advance key priorities uh, for black communities in dealing with the Biden uh, administration. So how did that work go? Well, thank you for having me on, TJ. It's uh, good to see you. Uh, really appreciate the leadership provided by President Biden and the historic uh, role that Vice President Kamala Harris has played in following through on what he said uh, when he won, and that is to make sure that his administration, his White House, would be the most diverse uh, in history. And we have made tremendous progress towards that goal. In fact, uh, because of the advocacy by the Congressional Black Caucus, uh, we have uh, historic representation in the cabinet uh, throughout federal agencies. And we still have a lot of work to do, uh, but we've made tremendous progress working with the Biden-Harris administration to ensure that our, um, his, his administration reflects the diversity of the country and more importantly, the people who helped get him elected. Congressman, I know you are an advocate of expanding child tax credits, credits, and we heard from President Biden in his address earlier this week saying this, quote, we are on track to cut child poverty in America in half this year. Do you have the bipartisan support to make this happen this year? The provisions that are in the American Rescue Plan that the president has uh, proposed in the American Families Plan, as well as the American Jobs Plan, are overwhelmingly supported by a majority of Americans, including Republicans. And let's talk about what the child tax credit actually does. It ensures that children don't go to bed hungry, uh, that, that they have the support that they need for education and success, to make sure that parents uh, have the funding to keep the lights on, uh, especially during winter months. Uh, so these are vital uh, importance, but I want to underscore that people have to file their 2020 tax return in order to receive the benefit of that 250 to $300 a month per child from the child tax credit and they can do that until May 17th. Now, something else getting plenty of attention, the George Ford Policing Reform Act, is that going to make it through Congress, will that be passed? And uh, where are you on this idea? The thing that seems to be such a big holdup uh, is this idea of qualified immunity for police officers. Are you willing to uh, compromise on that? I support Pre President Biden's call to have a bill passed out of Congress by May 25th. We cannot wait any longer. And what the George Floyd uh, Justice and Policing Bill does is it holds police officers accountable. And it also provides training and resources to create a better standard in the profession of policing, particularly uh, to ensure that they are held accountable for working with uh, and for the communities that they're supposed to serve. So we're about eliminating the chokehold, uh, eliminating no-knock warrants, having a national standard for training, making sure that bad actors are not able to move from department to department. And yes, the qualified immunity, we are working on language with Republicans to try to reform that so that we can hold those who abuse their power or conduct illegal um, practices accountable uh, in their role. Finally, Congressman, we know the Congressional Black Caucus is launching a Get Out the Vaccine Week. It uh, starts tomorrow. Tell us how that's gonna work and how you're gonna target some in the black community who are vaccine hesitant. You know, this is such uh, an exciting opportunity. I wanna commend my colleague, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence, uh, who came up with the idea. In fact, we talked to the president and the vice president about it when we met with them. So tomorrow, the Congressional Black Caucus, my colleagues across the country, will be conducting these get out the vaccine events uh, throughout our districts. We're calling it the GOTV, just like we do to help get out the votes, souls to the polls, making sure that people know their right to vote. This is important around the vaccine because we want to save lives. We want people to know that the vaccine protects them and their loved ones. 
Um, and in places uh, throughout the country, we, we want to address the issue not only of hesitancy because of the Tuskegee experiment and some of the abuses in healthcare, but also access. And so the message to everyone, but especially to the black community is get out the vaccine. And we are kicking this off tomorrow throughout the rest of this week. It's leading up to Mother's Day because our message is uh, we love our moms and we want to get vaccinated for uh, them and for all of our families. So uh, that's our message and that's our power. All right. Well, we appreciate you sharing all of that with us. Congressman Stephen Horsford, thank you for being on the program today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.